Hi, I'm Jeff Nelson of VegSource.com. As many of you know, each year we put on an event here in Southern California called the Healthy Lifestyle Expo. Over two and a half days, we bring in top experts in the field of health and nutrition to speak on a variety of topics. We do this as part of our mission to bring the best information possible about how to have a healthy, plant-strong lifestyle. We have these talks professionally videotaped so that people who aren't able to enjoy the event live can share in the experience afterwards on DVD. I think you'll enjoy this brief excerpt from the talk of Dr. Matthew Letterman on the Get Healthy Now Red DVD set. Your doctor may not realize how prevalent this issue is. Pharmaceutical companies, in effect, buy thought leaders. Five out of the 14 authors from the 2001 cholesterol guidelines, eight out of the nine authors of the 2004 updated the guidelines, nine out of the 11 authors of the hypertension guidelines, all were getting money from the drug companies. Few are aware of this. This I thought was really fascinating. 75% of the clinical trials published in the best journals are commercially funded. And if they're commercially funded, they're 5.3 times more likely to recommend the drug that they're studying. And of the 25% of the studies that are done in the universities, 50% of the contracts allow pharma, the pharmaceutical companies, to write the first draft of the paper. 25% allow the pharmaceutical companies to use their data tables only. And it's not that they're all wrong. We shouldn't throw everything out. But there is extensive bias and skewed evidence. And we have to be prepared to be able to read through that information. This I saw today, actually. This was in the British Medical Journal today. I threw it in there. The German drug assessment body, they looked at uh, this drug and tried to get all the information on roboxetine for, anti for an antidepressant. 74% of the data was unpublished. And they had, they had a very hard time, and they wrote about how hard it was to get all the information. When they did get it all together, they found that roboxetine is overall an ineffective and potentially harmful antidepressant. They went on to say that published evidence is affected by publication bias, underlining the urgent need for mandatory publication of trial data. How can we make decisions that are informed if we don't even have the data? So I'm not blaming the doctors only, but the doctors need to be aware of this, and we all need to get together and say, hey, we've got to get this information. This isn't right. So then we're informed about the miracle worker. When we have this number to treat, you know, there's the statins cause a 22% reduction in heart attacks or deaths. Who wouldn't want one of those pills? I would love that. Put statins in the drinking water. Who's heard of this? <laughs> we'll lower everybody's risk of dying. Fear-mongering, which is what they do to get people to think they're sick or worry that they, could, they need some pill or treatment, is great for business, but not necessarily great for your health. So we have to learn to read between the lines. Everybody get this? Smokers are less likely to die of age-related illnesses. <laughs> so stats 101. I'm going to hit this hard, but I'm going to hit it fast here. Relative risk versus absolute risk. Has anybody ever heard of these two numbers? Studies always publish relative risk, or almost always. You know, not just that, but most of them focus on that. Why is that a problem, you might ask? If a doctor told you that 22% reduction before in the last slide was going to help you, that's a relative number. That doesn't help. That's like saying, I want you to buy a, uh, this car for me, and it's 22% off. Are you saving a lot of money or a little bit of money? You don't know. Well, that's what relative risk is. Here we go. One out of 10 die with drug A versus two out of 10 if they take placebo. So one extra person um, was survived because of this drug A. That's a one out of two. That's a relative risk reduction of 50%. The absolute reduction is only 1%. 1 in 10 benefit, 9 out of 10 do not benefit. Now, what about 1 out of 100 die with drug A versus 2 out of 100 die with the placebo? It's still a relative risk reduction of 50%, 1 out of the 2. But the absolute risk reduction is 0.1%. 1 in 100 benefit, 99 out of 100 do not benefit. Now we have 1 out of 1,000 die with drug A versus 2 out of 1,000 with the placebo. Still a relative risk reduction of 50%. What is the absolute reduction? 0.01%. 1 in 1,000 benefit, 999 out of 1,000 do not benefit. Do you see why it's important to know absolute risk reduction? Why should you, should, could you get excited about 50% relative risk reduction? Maybe, maybe not. You need more information. And if you don't know to ask for that information, how are you going to make an informed decision? So here's a study, the Wuskop study in the New England Journal in 95. It looked at cholesterol, and the LDL people averaged about 190, which is pretty high. LDL is the bad cholesterol. And that's where this 22% fewer deaths came from. So you need to know, what's that 22% off of? Well, the placebo, 4.1% deaths over five, actually 5.6 years. Statin, when they took Pravacol, 3.2% deaths over five years. 
So that's 3.2 is 22% off of 4.1. That's how they get the relative risk reduction. Absolute risk reduction is only 0.9% over 5.6 years. So in reality, 100 high-risk people with LDLs of 190, most people here do not have an LDL of 190, would have to take a statin for 5.6 years to prevent one death. 909, or sorry, yeah, 99 of them would not get any benefit over those 5.6 years. Does that mean you shouldn't take the pill or you should? I'm not telling you what you should take. I'm giving you this information. You decide if that's worth it. Some people might say one in 100, that's pretty good, I want that. Other people might say 99 out of 100, I'm most likely not gonna benefit, I don't want that. This is just a short excerpt from a presentation on the Get Healthy Now Red DVD set. This DVD set contains a total of 12 fascinating talks on three DVDs, over 13 hours of information in all. The talks include Dr. Matthew Lederman on navigating through health and medical misinformation. Learn how to avoid being misled by pharmaceutical studies in order to make decisions based on reality. Dr. Joel Furman gives two talks, Metabolism and Hunger, which shows you how to lose weight easily and permanently, and longevity and cancer prevention, how to protect yourself from the toxic environment. Dr. John McDougall presents a research update, diet, multiple sclerosis, and autoimmune diseases on how to prevent and reverse arthritis, MS, type one diabetes, and other autoimmune diseases. And Dr. McDougall gives a second talk called The Starch Solution, documenting how the optimum human diet for thousands of years has been, and today continues to be, based on starchy foods. Jeff Novick presents Healthy Living Made Easy, How to Succeed Without Trying, providing practical tips and information for easily and effortlessly adopting a health-promoting diet. Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn presents Ending the Coronary Disease Epidemic and shares for the first time the impressive results of hundreds of patients in his private practice who have successfully followed his heart disease reversal program over many years. Rip Esselstyn presents Plant Strong, Taking It to the Next Level, sharing the secrets of Plant Strong success that many leaders of industry and sports legends have used as the cornerstone for their robust health. John Robbins presents Antidote to a Mean World, revealing fascinating information about his famous family and uplifting stories of transformation and hope. Reverend Hung Shur presents I Am What I Eat, Meeting Myself at Mealtime, examining historical dietary traditions of different peoples and how culture and media influence the food choices we all make. There's also a lively panel discussion with experts taking questions from the audience, as well as cooking demos from our cooks presenting easy, delicious, and nutritious recipes. Most doctors recommend prescriptions and procedures, which for the most part just mask or delay your inevitable decline from chronic illnesses. The medical experts on Get Healthy Now Red DVD give you practical information and education so you can take charge of your health yourself and actually save yourself from serious diseases. The Red DVD contains 12 talks on three DVDs, over 13 hours of critical health information. If you purchased each talk individually, you could spend $240 to get this life-saving information, but the Get Healthy Now Red DVD is only $89.95, including shipping. This information could save you thousands, perhaps tens of thousands of dollars in medical bills and help ensure you have the best chance of a healthy, happy life throughout your life. Don't let poor health control you. Make sure you have the latest information to get and stay healthy always. Go to VegSource.com and click on Store and buy a copy of Get Healthy Now Red DVD today.